Six lies narcissists want you to believe. Narcissists are pathological liars. They habitually and compulsively lie. They lie frequently and for no good reason. They harm themselves with their behavior, but they keep doing it despite the consequences. And sometimes it can be very convincing. They can cause you to believe that something is true or real. They can leave you with no margin of doubt because they may even believe their own lies, which is why it's so hard to catch, catch them out. They're good at gaslighting. They're good at making people question their own reality. They're good at manipulating people by psychological means into doubting their own sanity because they have no concern for anyone. They don't care about how it affects you. And that is why you should never trust them because they will lie about anything and everything. But I'm going to share with you the six most common lies they want you to believe. One, it will get better. They use future faking. They lie and promise something about your possible future in order to get what they want in the present moment. They will paint a detailed picture of the wonderful future that you, that the two of you will have together. with no intention of following it, following it up with action so that they can gain your trust so that you will overlook anything they're doing wrong because you're told that things will get better. They will tell you they're going to change. They will tell you they're going to stop flirting with other people or they're never going to cheat on you again but they don't really mean it. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear just to keep you off their back. Just to keep you thinking that everything is okay. They're grooming you. They're conditioning you. They're training you to behave in a way that they like in a way that keeps you under their control. Two, you're not enough. They want you to believe you're not good enough, which is why they will insult you and put you down. They will be very ungrateful. They will act like nothing you've done for them is of any value. They will minimize everything you do while exaggerating the value of other people. They will triangulate you. They will compare you to other people. They will make you feel less than who you actually are. They will make you feel unattractive. They will make you feel as though their thoughts and feelings are more relevant than yours. And it doesn't make a difference if you try to prove them wrong. Even if you have other people on your side, they will insult anyone who opposes their false narrative. It doesn't matter if they're a doctor or a lawyer, the narcissist has to believe they're always right. However they feel becomes the truth. And there's really no way to get through to them. Because they're not grounded in reality. They will go out of their way to say that they are better than you or that someone else is better than you. Because they're insecure. They're egotistical. Three, you can trust me. They will say you can trust them. And when they say that, it's a red flag 
it's a sign of danger because they will tell you they're going to do something or they will say that they've already done it they will ask you to trust them but that's only because they want you to stop talking about it they just want you to be quiet they only care about themselves so they're definitely not someone that you should depend or rely on because they will only disappoint you they will only let you down they lack morals they're not someone that you should trust or believe in so be very careful when they ask you to trust them because it may have a harmful and damaging effect on your life when you realize that they're not to be trusted four something is wrong with you they want you to believe that something is wrong with you as though you're incapable of inspiring their love and admiration because you don't have any attractive or appealing qualities they want you to believe that no one else will love you or take care of you they want you to believe that they're doing you a favor by being with you but really they don't think they're good enough for you and they don't want you to figure that out so they will abuse you into believing their false narrative instead to make you think they're doing you a favor by putting up with you but really you're an incredible person and they know that but if you knew it you would realize they're not good enough for you so they only do this to keep you around to keep you under their control five i love you the crazy thing is that at the beginning of the relationship they actually believed they did love you but it wasn't really love they just thought that you could be of value to them they thought they could get something out of you so they attach themselves to you but deep down narcissists feel like they are unloved they feel that nobody loves them they have an inferiority complex they feel inadequate so they will say that they love you in the hopes that you will say it back to them but they don't really want love they don't want to attach to anything they just want you to attach to them they will use love to keep you around because they know that it's important to you but their idea of love is very different to yours it's like them saying they love their new car but they don't really love the car they just love what it can do for them they love how it can take them where they want to go they like it because it's shiny and new they like it because it's fast but what happens when a newer model comes out what happens when they make a faster car then they don't like their car as much as they did before until they start looking for reasons to get rid of it for a newer one they just see you as an object they don't see you as a real separate person
six. My new partner is amazing. They will tell you their new partner is so much better than you. They will compare you to them. They will post pictures and videos of them together on social media. But it's all a facade. It isn't real. They will often broadcast themselves doing things that they never do with you. Things that they know you like. Things that they know you always wanted to do. Because they always knew what you wanted from them. They know you wanted love and affection. They know you wanted them to take notice of you. Because that's what good people want. And despite what lies they've tried to get you to believe. The evidence is there that they know you're a good person. They know you want a loving relationship. And that is why they always withheld that from you. They always kept you at a distance. And when they discard you. They give everything you wanted to their new partner. They create this image of whatever they think you wanted them to be to you. But whatever they do, usually the opposite is true. It just gives them supply to see a reaction to the things they're doing. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.